In this video, we're going to be looking at dynamic text. And what dynamic text does is it changes with the values that you're trying to describe with that text. So what do I do? Well, I click my text tool, and I click where I want the text to appear. Here, um, the first thing I want to highlight is the value of point A, our first point. So I'm going to type in A equals, and then click over here on point A. And notice it shows that the letter A with a little box over here. And what this now means is we have this text, but it's dynamic. So as I move point A, notice we see those changes in the text automatically. And that, of course, leads to many types of options for us. And you can create more of these. So maybe I want to also create the same thing for A prime. So then I type in A prime, right, equals, and then click the point A prime. That pops up. And last, let's get A prime sub 1. So we type in A prime underscore 1 equals, and then click that point. And that pops up as well. Now notice as I move these points, of course, the reflections will also move. So all the point values should be changing here in the text automatically. And when you set up dynamic text like this, right, where A equals and then click that point over here, or whatever, you know, whatever you're looking at, then you'll really allow for some nice flexibility with a clear representation of what's happening on the graph. All right, hope that helps.